Athlone Town have that kind of contrary breeze at their backs for the opening 45 minutes. And away we go. Jess Gargan immediately getting a first touch. And Dalek Kavanagh then. Roma McLaughlin taking control. Working hard over there. Extremely hard. That was Gray. This is Booney chasing after this one and getting there and poking it in over the line. Opening goal of the game comes in the seventh minute. And wouldn't you know it, it's Kate Mooney with her 11th goal of the season. Second in the cup. Celebration time for Shelburne. What a breakdown in communications at the back for Athlone Town. That should have been cleared. I know the management will be saying. A word with the goalkeeper, Katie Keane, immediately just to console her. But it was... Uh, Kate Mooney, who benefited at the end of this. Yeah, we just see Christy Gray winning the ball back, Roman McLaughlin then with the ball in, and Katie Kane really hesitated there. She'll be very, very disappointed with that. She came and then she stopped, and Kate Mooney, in fairness to her, she's quick off the mark, and it was a good finish for her. Jesse, who moved from uh, the US to Athlone Town in August last year. This one comes back out here towards Pierce. Maggie Pierce doing enough, and that's a penalty. That is a penalty. Real problems now for Athlone Town. Conceded by Shauna Brennan. Fouling Maggie Pierce. Referee right up there. Had a very good view of it. Referee making sure everything's right. It's certainly right if you're playing for Shelburne and supporting the Reds because Noel Murray has blasted it home. Shells lead in the cup final, 2 0. Yeah, no doubt about that one from Noel. She scored a penalty in the semi against Cork and she's done it again here in the final. Complete confidence. Never in doubt. Controlling the tempo of this attack. Roma McLaughlin. Plenty of Athlone players there, and that's a third. Disaster at the back. It's Jess Gargan who was up there. First goal of the season for Jess Gargan. Should have been cleared. Half an hour gone. Shells are three up. Yeah, Shells completely dominating here. But again, probably a preventable goal. See the ball just crossed in from McLaughlin over the header, Rossman, who went for it and just didn't get there. And Jess Gargan floated in at the back post. Kaylee Shine has the opportunity now to clear. Oof, that's gone straight to Leah Doyle. And there could be another one. And there is. And it's Kate Mooney again. Four for Shelburne. 38 minutes are gone. Two for Mooney. Three for Shelburne, or three, four for Shelburne, I should say. Well, what a day it is for the Shells fans so far, and what a first half. And the Shelburne fans up on the stands are enjoying it, Maeve. Yeah, sublime from Shelburne. This is almost like a carbon copy of the third goal, just different personnel involved. Leah Doyle this time. Dangerously across. Comes out initially, but only to Murray. Oh, that is five. Noel Murray, two for her, two for Kate Mooney, five for Shelburne after 41 minutes. They are trouncing the league champions, absolutely trouncing them. Yeah, incredible stuff from Shelburne. This time from a set piece. Noel Murray again just showing her class. The ball in from Kavna. Rossman initially got the header and then Shine with the clearance, but just to the feet of Murray. Little control. Just caressed it almost into the corner. No doubt about it from, from Murray. Just showed her. Gray hitting it and there's another one. This time I think it's Leah Doyle. 45 minutes gone, 6-0, and it's only half-time. Well, he's no longer celebrating Owen Weirin. He knows the team is far too good at this stage. 
they have it well and truly over Aslo and Town. He's not trying to celebrate. Happy, yes, but my goodness, his team is doing him proud. They've been absolutely devastating in the opening 45 minutes. And how about that for a finish from Leia Doyle, her third goal. Regroup as best they can. Tabe. Ocean Malloy. Here's Rossman. Comes to Tabe. Will they get one back? They might. They do. 6 1. Seven goals in the cup final so far. Brenda Tabe's seventh goal since joining in the summer. This is how it came about, and again it was Rosman here. Little deflection, Tabe's finishing was clinical. It's raining goals on a windy day in Tala. It really is, and a really equality. Stylish football, very difficult for Athlone to get any kind of foothold in the game at this stage. Oh, that was good work by Pierce. Fearlessly winning it to the challenge. What does really well, Maggie Pierce? It's three on one. It's Noel Murray, and that's well saved. Comes back out. Decent goalkeeping by Katie Keane that time. The goal chance just a moment ago here. Sheer tenacity here on the part of uh, Maggie Pierce. Eyes up, looking for the pass, giving it there as far as Noel Murray, and out came decisively won by Katie Keane. Good goalkeeping by the 18-year-old. She has a very, very good shot for a set piece normally from a more central position. She's going for it! She certainly did. Brilliantly tipped over by Katie Keane of Athlone Town. Nearly a seventh. The marvellous Alex Kavanagh. Brilliant drive. Really hits the ball well. Yeah, she's so... Can they get another late goal? Headed on and no help up and over. Maddie Gibson. Just won't happen for them today. It's one of those days. Lovely little knockdown here. And Gibson onto it quickly. Had to react instinctively. Yeah, Taylor's Holding up the point of the Atlone attack. And that's a decent effort. Very, very decent effort indeed by Emily Burke. Really good ball that was almost nestling in the final few seconds then of the 2024 Cup Final. And that is it. The referee blows his full-time whistle. It's victory for Shelburne. They've won the Cup for the third time. They fully deserve their victory. It was built on a very, very fine first-half performance. Full of goals, full of endeavour, full of creativity. Nearly everything that they touched in terms of a scoring opportunity produced something special. And their manager, Owen Weirin, in his first cup final, has managed to take his team through to victory. They atoned for the defeat of last season, where they were beaten only on penalties. Overall, a really balanced performance, though, made by Shelburne, wasn't it? It really was, and um, like Noel said there, you know, for Shells to go a year without silverware, is it's rare for them. They didn't win any silverware last year, and you could see just the hunger. Um, you know, they did push that loan all the way in the league, and they were unfortunate to lose out on a head-to-head. -head. So, um, you know, they'll be delighted with this today, and um, they did really put on a performance that they were capable of, like you said, in that first half. Well, they all have their medals and now they're going to get the cup as well from Paul Cook, the FAI president, Paris Slattery and the rest of them taking it. Shells are the cup winners for 2024. Very, very deserving cup winners winning the final by six goals to one. There was no question or doubt about it. Young and old are celebrating. It's Shells Day. Rachel Graham there as well and such a stalwart for Shelburne she has been throughout the years as well although she didn't start today she still has had a real impact on, on their season as well this year and um, just so, many, so much experience within that like I said also the youth then coming through as well